Alright, what is going on guys? So, it is Monday morning and I'm about to head to the gym this morning. I just got some work done, took care of my client check-ins for Monday and got a bunch of things done as far as just some reading and my morning sort of mindset training, I guess you could say. Um, but more so like writing to-do lists, things I'm grateful for, kind of grounding myself. I've talked about it before, but I highly suggest you do that, especially if you feel like you don't get a lot done in the day or you feel like you don't get a lot done. You might actually get more than you think, but if you actually prioritize things and figure out what you really need to focus on for that moment and that specific point in the day, you'll be getting a lot more done and the right things done. Anyways, about to head to the gym. I got a max effort squat um, as my first main lift for the day and then I got a full body workout. So I'll talk to you guys when we get to the gym. All right, what is going on guys? So I'm gonna do this quick voiceover. I just wanna explain something before I get into the actual explanation of the workout. What you're seeing me do here right now is something I think a lot of people have problems with and that's relieving tight traps. So most people that are lifters or just average people in general, looking down at their phone, staring at the computer, and then you add lifting on top of that or just bad posture in general, tight traps, tight upper back, is very common and even into the neck kind of getting those tension headaches so what I love to do is actually use the bar like this as it's set up to dig my trap in then chicken wing my arm as you just saw and then kind of tilt my head away and it's been the best sort of mechanism I found to really relieve those tight traps especially when you're on your own you can even put weight on the bar and that really helps it from moving around and you can really dig in there but just wanted to mention that before um, because it's worked a lot better than foam rolling or lacrosse balls or anything like that but getting into the actual video here as you can see I'm warming up I want to show you guys the full body warm-up that I do specifically pretty much before every workout but a little bit more geared towards the lower body since I was squatting to this specific day but body weight only there's really no um, specific equipment you need I do use a band at some points but you could even get away with not using that I start out with just some basic stuff to get my rotator cuffs and shoulders warm really just doing some forward um, arm circles starting out with a smaller diameter then working up to a bigger diameter and then switching to backwards kind of shaking it out a little bit there then I go down into a um, uh, cat cow as a lot of people call it basically really retracting your shoulder blades bringing your head up and then protracting and reaching um, up with your back and then digging that chin down on each rep there really good one for the upper back and traps um, as well to help get some get some blood flow in there and get some activation as well as relief but um, after that I just moved on to this squat position here just focusing on digging my elbows in kind of loosen up those hips a little bit before going into the squat to hamstring stretch so really keeping things dynamic <clears throat> excuse me really keeping things dynamic here during the warm-up you don't want to be going overly um, intensive with static stretching but you can get in some stretching but you just want to keep it more dynamic like you saw there and um, then just moving into some body weight squats and um, as you can see there's a little bit more lower body focused because I am squatting like I mentioned but there is things you can kind of tweak and add in to every single day just depending upon what you need what you're feeling soreness wise or what you find to need the most activation so I really find that my lower back glutes really need a lot of attention just to make sure I'm feeling fresh and feeling good so moved into some um, body weight glute bridges there kind of shaking out those legs now and then moving into an IT band stretch and then activating the opposite leg with some movement there so um, doing this for both sides I'm also going to move into a hip stretch which is going to be great for the um, abductors and adductors um, really helping get in those glutes firing as well um, and then moving to a straight leg leg raise as well so I'm um, going to do this on the other side as well and just kind of jumping ahead I also throw in some supermans there but I want to talk about what I'm planning on doing for the workout in this day which you're going to be seeing right after this warm-up essentially last week if you saw the video I worked up to a beltless no squat shoes and no knee sleeves 315 by 3 which was a PR for me with no belt no knee sleeves and no squat shoes and this week my goal was to shoot for two sets of three at 315 so basically that was kind of the the thing I had in my head coming into things um, from my programming itself and um, I will tell you straight up I was able to do that but I want to show you guys not only the progression but I want to show you guys the raw clips leading into things and then I'll hop back on here and give you a little bit more of a commentary once we get past the squat portion of the workout so um, if you guys have questions on this warm-up if you guys have any sort of just insight you'd like me to go more in depth on let me know but otherwise talk to you guys in a bit after these squat workouts.
How are you? All right, guys, so back here with the voiceover. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little bit of a raw sort of clip session there. 315, three sets, um, excuse me, three, 315 by three for two sets. Went in the books, felt really solid. I was really happy with all the reps there. The only really like grinder I would even say would be my third and final rep on the second set. But even then, form is on point, which I'm really happy with. Just want to give a quick shout out to the guy who walked in at the end of the video there, Jacob Pryor. He went to my high school as well, played football there. Good dude. Um, really knows what he's talking about in terms of just overall sort of shoulder health, um, overall warm ups, overall stability. When you see someone in the gym who's like warming up thoroughly, like you can see in the back of the video here, you know that they know what they're doing. But um, anyways, guys, just quick shout out to Jake there. He filmed one of my uh, Instagram videos. So thanks to that guy for, uh, for helping me out there. But anyways, I moved on after squats to some lower back and hamstring work. So posterior chain work. I did some exercise ball leg curls, three by 15 to 20 paired with some glute focused back extension. So really focused on just really getting some blood flowing into the lower body, um, specifically the posterior chain, like I mentioned after squats. And then I moved on to a dumbbell incline. I was able to hit 70s, I believe, for eight reps, two sets, which is a huge PR. And if you guys just saw that guy walked in front of my video in the set before that, somebody else walked in front of my video. So my face was uh, less than happy. But after that, I did some chest supported rows, which is right now my favorite, favorite favorite back exercise specifically if I had to pick one um, and I believe I did um, 80s or no I did 70s there as well for 10 to 12 reps which is also a PR feeling really strong on both of those movements finish it up then with um, some knee raises really just to hit those those abs a little bit more and get more consistent with that but hopefully you guys enjoyed the workout and I'll talk to you guys in just a second here Alright, just want to give a quick shout out to Viter Energy for sending me over some of their mints, which are caffeinated. So one of these mints, um, which I believe one mint is about 40 milligrams of caffeine, um, is basically, yeah, just a caffeinated mint. So as a caffeine addict myself, an avid caffeine addict myself, at that, I'm excited to try these out and I'll give you guys some updates on how I like them. Uh, but they sent me a chocolate mint flavor a cinnamon flavor, peppermint, spearmint, and then the big pack of the wintergreen. So they taste all right. I really don't care because if I can get in some caffeine quick and easy, I'll do it. I'll let you guys know. I mean, this should be real. Yeah, so I'm about to try these out and my dad's making the point that, honestly, if you're really trying to look for a buzz of caffeine, just suck it up. It can't taste that good, right? But. I popped two of the cinnamon, trying out the cinnamon flavor, and they taste pretty good right now. There's no other flavor in my mouth other than cinnamon, was I was expecting to have like some sort of other taste, but I don't know. I'll give you an update after they uh, dissolve and how caffeinated I truly feel. Wait for it. Updates to come. Look at that dirt on my face. Is that hair gel or pubes glued on or what? Anyways. All right, let me change, here we go. So I've had them in my mouth for like, like what, like 10 minutes now, I think. And they kind of feel a little bit weird when they dissolve. But I'm chewing them right now. If you chew them, it tastes fine too. I kind of do want to rinse my mouth right now. But it's pretty cinnamony. Like the flavor's good, it tastes like some big red kind of. But um, overall though, hold on, there we go. Overall though, not bad. I feel good. Caffeination feels good. I'm pretty addicted to caffeine, so my tolerance is pretty high, but as you can tell, I'm talking. So that's usually a good sign. But anyways, thank you again for sending me these out, Viter Energy. Go give them a look on Instagram, Viter Energy, or Go Viter, I believe it is. But yeah, check them out, guys. Look at that Boca. Ooh, naughty. That's what that blur is. If anyone ever asks, they're like, what's that blur? It's called Boca. B-O-K-E-H. Boca. Or Boke. Whatever you want to say it. Like, Poke. Anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about. The caffeine's working. Bye. What is going on, guys? So, for the last, like, hour or so, I just filmed a podcast with Manny, which you probably have already seen if you're watching this right now. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave some comments below if you did. He'll be back on the podcast for sure. I'll be having more guests as well, but just wanted to close out this video because I'm really bad at doing outros for videos. So here this one. Um, here's this one is what I was just trying to say. I just mumbled, I think. Anyways, 
these are the thoughts that I have in my head and I'm getting more comfortable just sharing them with you guys because I think it's funny as and also um, you get to know who I am a little bit inside this crazy brain and I'm also trying to get better at looking at the lens I promise anyways thanks for watching peace out if you're interested in coaching you can click the link below which will take you directly to my website I got testimonials there talking about my clients they might say good things about me, they might say bad. You can go check them out and see for yourself. And if you really think we'd be a good fit, if you really want to work with me, I don't know why you would, but, just kidding, you can click the link at the top which says sign up for a free consult and you'll get a free consult. Anyways, bye now.